welcome back to my kitchen. If you're just happening upon this video, you're probably some smug yuppie in search of a way to impress his friends by being more cultured. I got a newsflash for you, pal. You're not cultured and you never will be, so you might as well give up now. Of course, today I'm making sweet potato fries with a Greek twist. The cool thing about eating Greek food or Greek themed food is you gain Greek powers, such as the N-word pass. Yes, if you're watching this in your Greek, we do have the N-word pass from birth. Because if you ask a Greek person what their race is, we're nothing. I am half Greek myself, which means I am half nothing. Already bored? So am I. Let's get started. Okay, just a quick overview of what I have here. I have some olive oil, of course the yams, some seasonings, and some crumbled feta cheese. Not sure where feta cheese comes from, but I'm pretty sure you get it if you don't shower enough. Pretty straightforward, we just gotta chop up these starch penises. It's good to have a sharp knife unless you like to live on the edge. <laughs> uh, fuck. Okay, so basically you just grab a bowl and fucking throw them in. They look like carrots, but they do not taste like carrots, sir. Uh. Gonna add this shit. Fun fact, when Greek people inevitably cut their wrists, this is what comes out. Don't be afraid to dump a whole bunch of it in there. Okay, I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning because all good Greek things are actually Italian. I'm gonna dump it in there, just like that. Sea salt. Don't worry about that, nothing to see here. And some paprika that I stole from some Mexican grandma. This may look like a lot of shit, but there is a lot of fucking potatoes here. Use your hands to mix it all up if you're not a fucking baby. You can add more shit if you feel like you should. In my opinion, you can never get too much Italian seasoning. That's what she said? Bit of a secret weapon here is some garlic cloves. As many as you want, to be honest. It doesn't fucking matter. When you're working with garlic, take the amount that the recipe calls for and double it, and that's probably around where you want to be. You don't want to cut these fucking cuts too small or they'll burn. We want them to get all fucking mixed together and all nice little orgy of flavor. Just gonna dump them right in there. Okay? I want it all to cook together. Whose recipe is this? It's fucking my recipe. Go fuck yourself. Here we go with the fucking pan. Just gonna put them right on this pan, evenly distribute them like the bodies of our enemies. Try to get those garlic cloves in there. This is not fucking rocket science, but you're stupid and you clicked on this video. So here we are. If you need to know what temperature to preheat the oven at, just tell your mom to step on the scale and copy that number down. We're gonna let them bake on one side for about 15 minutes, so about enough time to make the potatoes very uncomfortable, then flip them and go for another 10. Okay, initially it was 15 minutes, then it was 20 minutes, then it was 25 minutes. I turned them over and they're, they're kinda, I think my fucking oven just sucks, okay? So what I'm gonna do, let these go for a little bit longer, and uh, I don't know about you cunts, but I like my fries nice and crispy, so I'm gonna broil them. I'm gonna make them cry. That's what we're gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, there's the semi-finished product after a long, hard battle with my oven. That's what she said. And the only thing left to do now is to add your feta cheese. Beautiful. Fucking gorgeous. Like delicious, salty Greek dandruff. Just to give you a quick overview, it seems like whenever I make these fucking things, it's a different story with a different oven. So, what I did this time was I went for about 20 minutes on one side and 10 minutes on the other, and then I broiled it until I felt like they were done. Thing you should probably do is bake on one side for 10 to 15 minutes, do it the same on the other, lift them to the top rack, turn the broiler on at 400, same temperature, until you feel like they're done. There's no fucking exact science to this. There's no magic number that I can come up with. Chances are your oven's gonna be different than mine meaning it's probably better. It just means you might have to use your tiny fucking brain for once. Anyway, you cunts. I'm gonna go stuff my face. Leave a comment below letting me know how bad of a cooking video this was. Have a great fucking day. Keep your bitches out of the kitchen. 
and I'll see you in the next one.